that was the time if you wanted to make Persian kubi there, you'd have to grab a ball like this, you'd have to grab a mesh sieve like this, grab a grater like this, place it in, grab an onion, and start grating away. Now unless you're a chef or you deal with so many onions at home, by this point you'll start crying. If not, by the time you start squeezing all this juice out of the onions, you will 100% be crying. Don't mind me, I'm just used to it. Now if you haven't started crying yet, you'll soon start crying. Because now you have to add all your spices. So we've got our salt. I don't know, is that enough? Hopefully. We've got our red sumac, once again. Could be enough. Our pepper. Might be too much, but who knows. Our turmeric. And our paprika. Now maybe you'll think this is fine now, but when everyone comes to your house and they're eating your kebabs and they start complaining, next thing you know they're going around telling all their friends that your kebabs are rubbish. That's the problem. I've decided to make all that a thing of the past. Introducing my new range of spices. This one here being Persian Kubide Kebab Seasoning. Everything you need in the one jar, with simple instructions there on how to use it. That way you can't go wrong. Yes, I've been making videos on YouTube for about almost 10 years now, but I've tried to make it a lot easier for you guys now, and I'm gonna show you how. That's our grated onions that we just did. Forget about it. Absolutely. Bring across your lamb mints or your beef mints. Do a bit of both or do it with chicken if you like. You be the chef. Get a jar of my Kubide Kebab seasoning. Open that up. All of them are sealed. Open the seal. All your spices are already mixed in there. Instructions say, add two heat tablespoons for every one kilo of ground meat. That's a decent heat tablespoon. And that's another one because we're doing one kilo of meat. Close up the jar. Now you also got a shaker on here as well. So once you finish with the seasoning, add something else in there if you like and shake away. All we're gonna do now is give this a good mix together. That's all guys. So the ingredients are quite simply listed here as well. There's no secrets, there's no additives. Simply salt, pepper, turmeric, sumac, paprika, and onion powder. All natural ingredients. I've used the best ingredients I can to make sure you have the best product. So what do we do now? Well, you can skewer this and make kubide kabob with it. You can shape it into meat patties, you can shape it into meatballs, shape it into kotlet. Do whatever you like, but I'm going to show you how to do kubide. Now, you've seen me do this hundreds of times. We've got our mince there, I've got a bowl of warm water here, and we've got our skewers here. In my case, I'm using the wide metal skewers, but you can use any skewer you like. We'll dip our hand in the warm water, grab about a handful of our meat mixture, shape it into a smooth shape along our bowl, just so you have a nice circle spear like that. Grab your skewer. Now you want to make this into a cylinder shape and slide it onto our skewer like that. Then from the top, start pushing down. Dip your hand in the warm water, flip our skewer and again. Make sure you're pushing very hardly down on that skewer so you're locking that meat on. Flip it again and repeat. Just like that. So guys, we'll repeat that again. In the meantime, start to preheat your grill. This seasoning is so good that you don't even need to put this into the fridge. You can cook straight away. All right, so we've got two skewers ready to go. So let's move on to our grill. So I've gone ahead and placed some charcoal on my gas grill just to give it a bit more of a smoky flavor. I'll we'll put our skewers straight on like that. After about 30 seconds, go ahead and flip your skewers and look at that beautiful colour. After another 30 seconds, go ahead and flip your skewers again. And all we're doing is flipping every 30 seconds until it's cooked all the way through.
Alright, and look how good that looks. Let's go ahead and serve. Guys, push from the top of the skewer and release it from the bottom. Once again, push from the top and release from the bottom. And you can, of course, add your saffron butter on top if you like. Okay, and voila, how easy was that? And of course, presentation is very important. But tell me, would you rather do that or spend about an hour crying, grinding all the ingredients, than everyone complaining everything's wrong? So guys, that's all you need to make that happen. Simple as that. So I did launch this a week ago and I appreciate everyone's support with this, um, especially those of you overseas who have to incur those shipping costs. I have tried to actually um, absorb a lot of those costs, so I've taken about 20 to 30 percent of the shipping costs. I've absorbed that myself because I want you guys to try this and make life easy for you. Um, as it has been so popular, I have um, continued the promotion that I have. So for the month of April, guys, enter the promo code I love kebab and you'll get 10% off your whole order. So guys, I do stand by my product 110%. I've been doing the research and everything into it for about four months now to make sure I have the perfect product for all of you. And just to prove that it's not poison, I'll try it right here. Absolutely sensational. So guys, give it a go, enter the promo code, and there'll be more seasonings to come soon. I'll see you next time.